Hi, my name is JP Miller, and I am the author of the Leaders Like Us series with Rourke Educational Media, Carson DeLuce. And I am reading for you today the story of Henry Louis Gates Jr. And I just love Henry Louis Gates Jr. He is a genealogist. So that means that he studies families. And every summer, if you're like me, you have family reunions that you go to and you get to see your grandparents and aunts and uncles. And so I get excited for it because I like to trace my family roots. And so today I want to show you or read to you the story of Henry Louis Gates, the genealogist. Tracing family roots. Who are you? Your history is more than your name. It is more than the names of your family members who are alive today. It goes further back in time. Who were your ancestors? Dr. Henry Louis Gates Jr. wanted to help people learn about their ancestors. He wanted to help people understand their family history. In a television studio, Henry Jr. waited behind the scenes. He was about to begin filming his show, African American Lives. He was going to help his guests discover who their ancestors were. He was a leader in genealogy. He had a lot of information to share. He was about to help many more people than just the ones on his show. A trip to the attic. The house was filled with family. Everyone was there after young Henry Jr.'s grandfather died. Henry Jr. followed his father up the stairs. It was his first time in his grandparents' attic. His father, Henry Sr., opened the old trunk. Inside were newspaper clippings and other Gates family treasures. He searched the stacks of papers until he found the obituary of his great-great-grandmother, Jane Gates. Henry Jr. read the article. It said that his great-great-grandmother was a good parent and that people liked her. It talked about how both black and white people respected her. It listed all of Jane Gates' children, but it did not say who the father of her children was. The trip to the attic changed Henry Jr. He became curious. He had questions about his paternal family. Henry Jr. set out to solve the mystery. Who was his great-great-grandfather? Henry Jr. made a special trip to the store to buy a spiral notebook. He was going to interview his family. He planned to write what they said in his notebook. His family was happy that he was interested in his family tree. They sat with him and shared funny stories, family celebrations, and pictures. Henry Jr. wrote it all down. He learned a lot about his family history. Still, there was something missing. Roots and trees. Family trees can be very important. They can help people understand their roots, how they are related to others. Some people even find out they are related to someone famous. Henry Jr. grew up. He left home for college. Researching family trees still excited him. He knew what he wanted to study, history. He did very well in college. He was asked to teach classes while he was still a student, he earned a doctorate in history. Soon, he was famous for his research. Henry Jr. watched a television show where a man traced his family tree all the way back to Africa. How did he do it, Henry Jr. wondered. He had tried, but he had no luck finding his great-great-grandfather. His family's history was missing information about when relatives were taken due to slavery. Other African-Americans wanted to discover their family trees too. He could become a leader and help people find their family history. Solving mysteries. Tracing family trees back to Africa was all Henry Jr. thought about. He spent day and night thinking of ways to do it. Suddenly, he had an idea. He could use DNA. It could be used to trace the family history of famous African-American people all the way back to Africa. 
He spoke to people at PBS television about his idea for a show. He was already a leader in history. Now he wanted to be a new kind of leader too. PBS turned his idea into a television series called African American Lives. On each episode, Henry Jr. would get information from each famous guest. He found out as much as he could about their family tree using official documents. He used information from the guest's DNA to learn more after that. He could finally tell the people who their ancestors were. No other show was like this. He would lead the way once more. Henry Jr. had many famous people on his show. He had eight guests the first time he made African American Lives. When he was done, he knew he could help many more people learn about their family history. Famous Faces. One of the people that Henry Jr. interviewed was Oprah Winfrey, a famous talk show host. Other guests included comedians and scientists. Henry Jr. never found out who his great-great-grandfather was, but his search led him to change lives. He has won many awards for genealogy research. He has written books and articles. Many people started to research their family history because of him. Henry Jr. gave hope to Black people in Africa and America. He led them to learn their own family stories. His favorite quote is, we all have ancestors waiting to tell our family story. It is my job to find those ancestors on your family tree, open the door and let them talk. I hope you enjoyed listening to the story of Henry Louis Gates Jr. Now, let me show you a family tree so that you can start your own research. This is a family tree that I found on uh, familytreetemplate.com. And so in this bottom box, you can put your name and then the box to the left, you'll put your father's name and the box to the right, you can put your mother's name. And from there, you can put your mother's father and mother's name. And then you'll just go down the line and put their parents' name. So you can in essence have your parents, your grandparents, and your great-grandparents that you would know who they are. So this is just a little something that you can try on your own um, once you finish uh, listening to the video. And thank you so much for listening. And uh, again, hope you enjoyed the, the video with me reading Henry Louis Gates Jr. <laughs>